Hey guys, what's up? It's PJ here again, and this is the fifth, I believe, fifth, yes, the fifth um, graphics tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'm actually going to be showing you how to draw images. So, to do this, we actually need to use a class called Buffered Image. Now, Buffered Image is basically just a way to bring images in as an object. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new buffered image. We can just make it a private buffered image. Buffered image. Image. Now import that. Now we actually need an image to put into our game. So go into your your project actually. And in this graphics we want to create a new folder. Not, not file. Folder. A new... Where is it? Folder. Now we'll just name this res for resources. You want to right click on this res folder and you want to go down to build path. Now we want to put this as use source folder. So when the actual thing or the actual jar file is compiled, the the res folder will be included there with all the packages. So now let's actually just um just grab an image that I that I use for a different project. We'll use this one. Um, just any like uh, PNG or J JPEG file should work. Um, just drag it into the res folder and do copy files. Now you'll see in here you have the picture and if you double click it you can see it. Um, what we want to do is we actually won't want to make a try catch block exception or no not exception I O except Blech. Exception <laughs> e e dot print stack trace. Okay. Um. So in here we're gonna do image equals, and we're gonna use the image I O so input output class to get this, and we'll use the method read, and then we get get class. If I can spell it right. Dot get resource as stream. Now in here we're going to put our path. So what our path is, is since res is actually in the build path, you don't need to say res. You just do slash mito.png or whatever the file is. So now we have our image loaded into this, um, into this buffered image object. And we can just go to this uh, paint method and do g.drawImage. Now I know that looks like a lot of a lot of uh, parameters, but we're not going to use all of them. We're going to use, let me think, six parameters. So the first parameter will be the image itself, so image. Then the second parameter will be the um, the x and y. Now you could put in a width and a height, but it will distort your image unless you get it like exactly with the image. Or you can just go and press and put in no. Well, actually, you could put in the X and Y here and make it 100, 100, 100, 100. And then we put in null for the image observer. Now you'll see if we do this, you'll get that image. But if you compare the two of these, this is kind of distorted. Because the width and height of the image is not actually 100, 100. So if we just get rid of this width and height parameter, It'll just get the act the images width and height and put it in there. So ne so now you can see that it's it's actually right. But if you wanted to scale this up, you could do image dot get width times two, image dot get height times two. So now if we do this, it'll be bigger, but it won't be just distorted. It'll just be more pixelated. So we could even go four by four, and if you see here, it's huge. But if you go, say, 10 here on the width, it's going to be very distorted. So you could do that if you wanted to distort your image from for some reason, or you could just scale it up however you wanted to. So that's how to draw images. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe.